Hey Salt House, Pastor Ryan here, and I am here with Pastor Sarah and intern Pastor Zach. And this is Ask the Pastors. The kids from our community have been writing down questions while we've been preaching. <laughs> and we're gonna just like pick a few of them and respond to them. It doesn't mean that we're gonna have like all the answers to your questions, but we are gonna engage them. Why isn't there stuff like dinosaurs in the Bible? That's a good question. I feel like that's a question that I've asked several times. Um, but I think part of this is like the Bible is lots of different things. Like we have lots of types of stories and lots of genres of stories. And like science is one genre of how we tell stories. Um, but it's not the only way that we can understand the world. And like the Bible is a different way of thinking and different way of focusing on our history and where we've been and where we're going. And like we said, if God's the main character of the Bible, we're focusing on what God's done and what God's story is in Scripture. Um, so I'm not sure that uh, the Bible's trying to capture science for us so much as it's trying to capture a different type of truth as we move through um, human history. Yeah, like I wouldn't ask a cookbook to tell me how to change exactly. the oil of my car. Or right, something like right. That. I might, but yeah, it's <laughs> what I know about cars. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That that's why. To yes. a vehicle. Exactly. Yeah. No. No. Exactly. Like, like we've, if you, especially like we look at the creation story. Like we're reading a poem. We're not reading a textbook. Like, right. and yeah. all the different stories that we look at at the beginning of time are different types of stories than science tells us. That matters, right? Yeah. Like the questions that we ask of the Bible. Is the Bible asking that same, trying to answer that same question that we're asking? It might not at yeah. all. Yeah. And when we do ask like our question that it's not trying to answer, we can come up with some just really kooky, crazy stuff. Right. <laughs> when you think about how fast the world changes, like I'm going to seminary online where you guys didn't. Like it's right. a different world what are you even to now. Say, I know. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> um, Speaking of dinosaurs, right? <laughs> right now. Like, the world changes. And so, like, think about how much the world has changed since they wrote the Bible. Right. That, yeah. like, they just yeah. couldn't have anticipated the questions we were going to ask yeah. right. when they're writing it down. Like, I mean, they weren't writing it down. Right, they weren't. Yeah, yeah. they were telling the stories. These yeah. were oral stories. And, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, I hope that that gave you something to think about because your questions totally gave us something to think about. <laughs> and I just want to encourage you to love asking the question. Mm. You are theologians. Why are you a theologian? Because you're thinking about God. Therefore, you are a theologian. So love that question. Keep asking that question and keep writing it in to us. Thanks, friends. Bye.